Life without you been feeling kinda strange Well I see that you're doing very well Ha, you looking very well I miss the way your perfume smell I miss the way that you blow up my line Just to make sure that I'm feeling well Welcome back to my channel Jabri and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I achieved this install and we'll be giving you guys a review on how I feel about Ash Mary hair thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video this is their unit this is their 26 inch deep weight 250 density 13 by 4 lace wig and today I'm gonna be putting it on showing you guys how I achieved this particular style and yeah, we just gonna get into it. But before we can hop into it, y'all already know that y'all have to thumbs up this video and comment down below and tell what you guys wanna see next. And also subscribe to my channel because my cash baby's lit. I'm lit and if you subscribe, then you can be lit too and that's on what? That's on period. So let's just go ahead and hop right into this video. So I'm gonna start off by using this hot comb by Andy's. I got this from Walmart and also some tea pins. This is how I'm going to be putting my wig on my little stand. And I only use about three one in the middle and two on the ends and then I'm just gonna take my hot comb and start to push the hair back so that I can pay more attention and see the hairline more clearly okay so as you guys can see this wig has a pretty decent hairline but I like mine to look a little bit more natural so I'm gonna go ahead and pluck it a little bit more so the method that I'm going to be using today to plug this unit is going to be the free plucking method. Um, the best way that I can describe this is basically I'm just going to be taking the tweezers, grabbing the hair from the hairline and dragging it back. You know that you're doing it right if you can hear the scrape along the lace and you're following through with your hands. Sweetie, move now. Sweetie is just all up in my business right now. Another great tip is to keep moving your hand across the hairline so that it will not be any balding on the lace. After plucking this unit for about five minutes, this is what the hairline looks like, but I'm extra and I want to go in even more and pluck some more. So what I like to do is just take my comb and pull out the edges of the hair. And what I'm going to be doing is just plucking right behind that. And what I find is that it gives it a more natural gradient hairline look more than just plucking the front of the hairline. I like when it just blends and it, it flows into the front too, if that makes sense. So I just like to go a little bit behind the edges and do the same free plucking method. So I'm finishing up this section and I just want to show you guys the before and after and what the huge difference plucking makes if you do not pluck your wigs. I don't know what to tell you, girl. I definitely recommend it. It makes your units look so much more natural. If you want to learn how to pluck, this is definitely the easiest way to do so. So this is what the unit looks like. This is, of course, from Ash Mary Hair. And they also sent me two wig caps. I got one on my head and I'm going to just push that back to access my hair and then I'm going to be using some got to be glue gel to push my edges back to basically make sure they're not in the way when I go in to glue this cap down. Now, 
for my cap method, what I like to do is pull down the cap and go ahead and cut out two ear holes. This just make it easier when it's time to glue this down to get it to stick by your ears. Um, if you ever put on a wig before, you already know like the, by the ears is the hardest part. So the ear holes just make it a hundred times easier to do it. And now what I'm going to be doing is taking some got to be free spray and I'm going to be just spraying that all around the hairline. You want to just keep this in the proximity of your natural hairline because nine times out of ten that's where this wig is going to sit. And the more that you lay this down on your forehead, the more you'll have to cut up later. So just try to keep it closer to your hairline. And then I'm also going to be taking some got to be gel and I'm going to be putting that over the spray and then I'm going to pick up the excess with a comb y'all will see that in a second and then I'm going to move on to a blow dryer and make sure that everything is completely dry When I'm cutting my cap, I like to keep the elastic band because that is what's going to keep this cap on my entire head. So I don't cut out the little thick elastic band part in the front. I keep that and then just let it rest on top of my head. So then I'm just going to go in and start pulling up the cap piece by piece and trying to get it as close to my hairline as I can get it. The less cap, the better, the easier it'll be to lay your wig. So just try to get all the excess off. Another really good tip for cutting this cap is to use smaller shears because you can get a closer cut. Also, for all of my beginners who don't understand why a cap is used, basically this will be your fake scalp. You can't just sit a wig. Well, I mean, you could. People do sit their wigs on top of their natural hair, but lace is not like you can see through lace. So it's better to have something that looks more like a scalp up underneath it than hair, if that makes sense. So here's another super duper helpful thing that I do. So I go ahead and put the wig back on my head and I position it where I think I'm going to sit it. And then what I do is like to analyze it and make sure that none of the cap underneath it is sticking out because if it is, that is a problem and that needs to come up and be cut. So none of the cap can be showing in front of the hairline. If it is, you need to pull it up and cut it off. And this is how you're going to get the perfect cap specifically for that particular wig and that particular hairline. After my cap is laid, I like to go in with a powder that is similar to my skin tone and just start to put that all over the cap. This is what's gonna give us that fake scalp illusion and this is what's just gonna make everything look seamless. After dealing with any makeup, I like to go in with some alcohol and just clean up around my hairline. You already know we're about to be putting a wig down and makeup can cause the glue to have a bad reaction. So you just want to make sure that your skin is super duper clean before you put anything on it. I'm also going to use that same powder and I'm going to put that all over the lace as well. Today I'm going to be gluing my unit down side by side, so I'm just pulling up that first side and the glue I'm going to be using today is Ghost Bond and I'm going to just be putting little dots all around that little section and then I'm going to take a comb and I'm just going to smooth out the glue as much as I can. You don't want clumpy glue up underneath your lace at all, so just try to make sure to use something where you can get it super flat so that there will not be any clumps up underneath there. 
Also, I'm gonna be using two layers of glue just because I didn't know how long I was gonna have on this unit. And I also go to the gym, so I just try to make sure that I use two layers instead of one. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing to that side. And afterwards, I'm going to use a blow dryer and dry it till it's clear. After you have placed your lace down, you want to use a comb and not your fingers to push it into your skin just because the oils in our fingers can loosen up the glue. So you just wanna use something else and I like to use a comb. Also, while placing your lace down, it should not be a lot of tension on your hairline or your skin. Whatever you're placing your unit down, it should not be a lot of tension at all. And if it is, you need to go ahead and remove it because that can cause hair loss. Now I'm just going to be clipping my hair away to cut away this lace. I don't cut in any special fashion. I really don't have to, especially if you're using good quality lace and you laid it correctly. You don't have to cut all crazy. I just cut in a straight line, honestly, and it, does, it gets the job done. Also, like I said, same thing for the cap. If you use smaller shears, you get a closer cut. So smaller shears basically work better. So get smaller shears. If you have any sections that did not get glued down, um, this would be the perfect time to do so. As you guys can see, this little ear flap that always gave me hell, gave me hell. And yeah, just had to go back in and re-glue it down, but it was fine. So yeah, if you got anything that you need to fix with the lace, any places that didn't get glued down, any places that need to be cut, this is the time to do so. This elastic band will be the elastic band that I use to tie down my lace and to get it to quote unquote melt. I actually got this from Amazon. Everything that I use in this video will be listed in my description box so you guys can find it there. And it was super cheap. I got like a yard. I think I got like 11 yards for like less than $10 on Amazon. So I'm gonna have everything linked and y'all can go check it out. <laughs> Now I'm just pulling out the edges of this unit and basically while I'm tying it down, I want these to be accustomed to laying facing down like flat on my face more so than going backwards. So instead of tying it back with the hair, I'm going to be tying it down. So that's why I'm pulling them out if that makes sense. Now I'm going to be taking some more got to be glued spray and I'm just going to be spraying this in between the hairline, the baby hairs and tying it down with the elastic band. 
On to styling, I'm just going to be using this Edge Booster Wax Stick. And I'm just going to be putting this all over the front of the lace. And I'm going to also be using my hot comb to just push this backwards. I was going for a more flip over type style. So this product was perfect for that. And I just took my hot comb, pushed it backwards, and it stayed. And it looks shiny and it looks good. And it literally is the perfect product. I use this for each one of my wigs. For a longer lasting hold, I like to go in with some more free spray and just spray that all over the section and then dry it with my blow dryer. For the hair itself, I'm just going to be using some water in a spray bottle and I'm going to drench it. This is how I'm going to be detangling this hair. I actually still have in this hair and it's been a couple of days and when I tell y'all, anytime that I add water to it, it's easy to detangle. I haven't had any problems with it shedding. The curl pattern is beautiful. I love everything about this hair, y'all. And um, the only thing I'm going to be putting on it is a little bit of this got to be gel. It's basically just like a looser version of Eco Styler. So yeah. You get the gist. I'm just going to be putting that on it. But it really didn't even need it. The curl pattern, everything is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so now it's time to take off the elastic band and it got a little bit stuck on the glue right here, but that's fine. And when I take it off, y'all see everything looks good. I even got a close up video from Instagram that I took and everything looks so good. And as y'all see, the baby hairs are laying flat on my head, just how they're supposed to be. So everything turned out amazing. Chef kiss. Okay, so for my favorite part, which is the baby hairs. These particular ones, I'm going to split into three different sections. So the first thing I'm going to do is comb out that first little section. And I'm going to comb through it, make sure that it's straight. And then I'm going to take my tweezers and thin them out because in my personal opinion, I just feel like baby hair should be thinner. So I'm thinning them out. And then I'm going to go in with some shears and try to cut them diagonally. Next, I'm gonna take my Babyliss mini flat irons and flip the little piece upward. And basically, this just makes it 100 times easier to swoop it. Now I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of got to be glue gel and putting that on this little piece of baby hair. And basically what I'm doing is just holding my finger on the baby hairs and swooping it in a C motion. Just basically working together with my finger and the brush and the comb to get like the perfect shape. And I just do it over and over and over again until it literally looks perfect.
Okay, so y'all, this is the finished look. I love it so, 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 so much. I feel like I did so good on this install. Y'all already know y'all gotta let me know in the comments what y'all think. But yeah, this is how it came out. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, so guys, this is how my hair and makeup turned out. I actually did a tutorial, so if the makeup tutorial goes up before this video, I will link that video right here. But this is how my hair turned out. I know this is what y'all are here for. I love this hair so much. This hair hasn't gave me any issues whatsoever with shedding, with anything. Like, this hair is just completely gorgeous like I'm in love all the links of course will be listed in my description box if you guys want to purchase this hair and it might be a little cold in there too so you might want to go ahead and check that out but if you enjoyed this video or you learned something do not forget to thumbs up this video and also comment down below and tell what you guys want to see next and also subscribe to my channel because my cash baby's lit I'm lit and if you subscribe then you can be lit too and that's on what that's on period so yeah I'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye